Let's get ready to paint a realistic touch tool in acrylic. Mix up a dark paint from dark in purple with a touch of orange. This will make a lovely warm background. Paint carefully around the shape of the toad stool and also be careful not to go into the areas of the twig and the loose leaves on the ground. Lighten the background mix with some orange and then very loosely and randomly stroke in the loose sticks etc using the edge of a flat brush. Keep some almost visible and some slightly lighter. Remember they are all in the shadow area. Now add some yellow ochre to the mix and paint in some that are almost in the sunlight area. Block in the green leaf and some touches here and there for the other specks of green. Begin painting the center of the toadstool with straight cadmium red and be very careful not to paint the nodules away. With pure orange, paint in the right side, which is the sunlit side. Use a small flat brush here. For the shadow side, add a touch of the background color into some cadmium red. Start with a small amount of color and then darken up as you go over to the left edge of the uh, toadstool. And now paint some light blue on the shadow side of the stem. Then add a light pink to the sunny side. Softly blend the two together in the center. With some mauve color, glaze over the blue. Add a bit of texture to the stem. Fill the nodules in with some yellow and carefully add shadows to them. Finish the right side first. With some white, add some roughness to the lower area. Add the paint on thickly, in pasto style. Now continue adding white to the nodules on the right side edge. See how they stand out against the dark background. And add the dark spots to the nodules. Continue doing the same to the left hand side in keeping the shadow effect. Add the shadow at the top of the stem and the twig with some of the same color. Now paint the dead leaves with some orange brown color and add some highlights. Add masking fluid to, to cover the stem and with a rigger brush Flick in all the small twigs, etc. lying on the ground. Bring some over the masking tape. With a very light color, paint the twigs that are catching the sunlight. Do it very randomly, keeping some slightly darker in the shadow area. Brighten up some of the twigs with a light orange-brown color. Continue building up the amount of small twigs. A lot lying around. Now the magic of this painting is the small shaft of sunlight illuminating up the red toadstool against the dark background. Brighten up the reflections on the dead leaves as well as the large twig. Add sunlight onto the leaves. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching. Also please subscribe to our YouTube channel.